In today's video, we're gonna go over some creepy TikTok conspiracies. Let's get into it. Alchemy's really cool. This is how they used to take materials and they used to turn things into gold. You know, they take lead, turn it into gold. You can take copper, turn it into gold. You can do all these different things. And then people would ingest these things and those things would make the body regenerate because we are a, a made up of gold, silver, platinum, iridium, rhodium, all these different materials. So a person would consume that and it would supercharge their body. And you see this a lot in like Egypt and all these different places. They're holding like a little, it looks like a little triangle. That little triangle is mana or ormus and they would consume this. They would eat light, which is interesting when you start to think about it. We eat all these foods, but we don't eat enough light. And that's where ormus and mana kind of comes with. But it's a really cool one when you get into alchemy. Tons of people used to be alchemists in the 1930s and 40s. And then back in the 20s and the 1910s. But that was all riddled out because as the Rock and the Rothschild and all of the people, Peabody's, Morgan's, all that took over the educational system, all the alchemy disappeared. So if people were transmuting things, they were wiped out. They got rid of them. And I've been told by some people in the past that alchemy is considered devil's work or Satan's work. Would you agree with that? Because I, I really don't see that being the case because... Mostly alchemy just requires you to use ingredients from natural elements. I think it's when you get into the darker alchemy stuff where it involves blood and things like that and it becomes way more ritualistic. Maybe that's when it touches on the satanic side. But I have been told that it is a satanic act. So let me know in the comments if that's true or if that's something that you believe. And let me know why if that's the case. Accessing parallel dimensions using Google Earth? What the f***? The Backrooms first introduced in a 4chan creepypasta thread are a fictional setting known for its liminal space aesthetic. They are depicted as an endless, extra-dimensional array of empty rooms that you can access by no clipping out of reality. People have built on the idea by introducing concepts such as levels and hostile entities and cryptids that live in these spaces. But what if the Backrooms aren't as fictional as we've been led to believe? What if they are real and you can access them? There are viral videos of people finding Google backrooms with chairs arranged in circles and rooms with creepy messages on the walls. Some rooms were found in remote places on Google Earth or Google Maps. Does this have anything to do with the missing 411? Are these people falling into the backrooms by accident, never to be seen again? Sometime in 2023, Google quietly killed their Photosphere feature but at the time of this recording, it is available to some users. They claim these backrooms were because of users abusing this feature. Is Google covering something up? And have you ever been to one of the backrooms? I remember when the backrooms were really, really starting to pop off a few years ago. I enjoy them. I think it's a really cool concept. And I like to play with the idea and the theory of the backrooms being something that is real. It's not necessarily called the backrooms. We would call them other dimensions. And who's to say that there is not another dimension that's just slightly merged with ours and it's just a little off and everything is kind of clipped together, making it this, this weird place. Or it could even tie in with multiverse theory where there's multiple realities. And in one of these realities, you can just slip through the seams of reality itself and fall into what they would call the back rooms and also i'm just a huge fan of liminal spaces in general i think that that's a really cool concept for horror kind of gives you that claustrophobic feel not that i like tight spaces personally but the act of watching them or someone going through caves or even the back rooms it's really thrilling and exciting because it causes this form of terror and dread i really enjoy that when we ignited the first atomic bomb, all of a sudden aliens started showing up. So like there's a bunch of UFO sightings. So the Roswell thing happened very shortly after the first atomic bomb went off. Okay. And just all these people were reporting sightings. One of the things that I thought was so weird, we talked about those lights in the sky, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they yeah. stopped and spread apart. Mm -hmm. These people in the 40s, all these people in New Mexico were reporting this. It looked like a meteor shower coming down and then it broke apart into separate orbs. What? And it stopped and it said that they flew parallel to the ground like they described it to the, the same time as the world the, as the nuclear bomb going off in japan yes wow Dude, yeah okay. this makes so much sense though like going back to if it's people from the future if you were coming to save humanity from a cataclysmic event wouldn't you be trying to affect the creation of mm -hmm. one of or our even or just study it even yeah one of the theories is that humans uh, from a different multiverse of course 
But they said when they split the atom, that was detrimental to the multiverse. Oh. So they came here to be like, hey, yeah. you can't be doing this because you're going to mess everything up. I wonder what we would have to do as a human species to actually get the aliens involved with us and not just lingering and observing. Like, what's going to make them come down and say, hey, stop it? Is it going to be all out nuclear war? Is it going to be some kind of new type of weapon that we've just not discovered yet or have you used yet? It's a pretty interesting theory, especially if you're someone that believes in aliens and believes that they're potentially interested in us as a hostile species. Let me know what you think about this theory. This video of an axe throw is going viral for being oddly satisfying. And people are saying it looks like a simulation error. This video of an axe throw is going viral for being oddly satisfying. And people are saying it looks like a simulation error. A video like that you have to be careful with because I could just watch that about five times because that really is a satisfying look. It's coming in spinning, it hits the log, it spins, it hits the back thing, and it just acts as if it was just being thrown straight. Very cool moment to catch on video. Hey, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. I only ask once per video and I make a video like this almost every day. And to everyone that's subscribed and or watching, thank you for being subscribed and thank you for watching. If you see this tree, your day is ruined. <laughs> Money. I'm sorry guys, but I'm about to ruin the joke. So you guys might have seen a video like this pop up on your For You page recently. This is one that I got tagged in where we can see this guy recording this tree with no context whatsoever with one word, help. Upon closer look, this is what the tree looks like, but you might not understand what's going on here. Well, this video was recorded in part due to a meme that's been going around lately, known as the Lepidodendron meme. This image has been bouncing around on the internet for the past few days, saying, attention, have you seen this tree? Hopefully you haven't because it's a Lepidodendron tree and it's extinct. And allegedly, if you're seeing this tree, it means that you've fallen through some sort of rip in the fabric of time. This has prompted a ton of people to start recording videos of trees that somewhat resemble the Lepidodendron tree, but really are not the Lepidodendron tree. This right here is a pretty accurate portrayal as to what a Lepidodendron tree would look like in its normal environment. So if you see one of these, you don't have to be too alarmed, you just have to wake up. But my main question to it is, is how do we know what that tree looks like if they no longer exist in this world? Did they just find one that just was preserved or how, how do we know what they even look like? Let me know in the comments if you know that because I'm curious. I have a set of stories and I'm gonna tell them to you. And you guys tell me, do you see a weird coincidence going on? This man, Dmitry Petronov, he invented a plasma battery that powered his home for 14 months in 2010. He went into a bakery and was never seen again. Zachary Warfield, another inventor who created his own plasma battery, visited Petronov to exchange info. He died in a boating accident that year. In 2004, a cold fusion expert and physicist Eugene Malov was set to make a public announcement about his findings in which he claimed he developed a working prototype for a free energy device. He was beaten to death the day before his announcement. Stefan Marinov was a leader of the European free energy movement in 1997. He made tremendous strides in this technology before he could develop his first prototype. He fell out of a window. Mark Tamaron, a physicist, patented a technology called a star drive that has supposedly used zero point energy. In 2009, he developed a working prototype, yet shortly after he died from unexpected cardiac event his research went missing all of those guys have one thing in common that's really scary you try to come up with an invention that allows you to have free energy something that you could probably help the world with and there's elitists out there that just take you out because they might lose a little bit of money even though they probably have enough money to be set for multiple lifetimes over let me know what you guys think about this look at this you guys have you guys seen this have y'all come across this yet? What is this? This literally looks like the lake is pregnant, y'all. Right? It Or something that's cloaked there. It's like some type of, I don't know, like a bubble coming out of the lake. Or it's like a cloaked ship. But it looks like there's something inside of it, like a, like a fog or a mist. This is off a lake in New York. The guy said he's been living there for seven years and he's never seen anything like this, y'all. But... Can anybody explain what this is? And look at the clouds. Y'all see the clouds? You see how low they are as well? Do you think this could be affecting the lake? You know, we've been seeing these weird clouds as of late, y'all. And human beings like to make things difficult and give things names and all that type of stuff. But, you know, nature is simple. The universe is simple. 
but this is strange and out of the ordinary y'all especially if you've been living there for years seven years and never seen anything like this y'all we already know this planet is changing y'all and all my years coming across TikTok, I have never seen anything like that before, y'all. And um, yeah, there's a lot of things that are happening on the planet that people are seeing for the first time. And that's something I've ever, I've, I've never seen before. I'm fairly certain I seen that video a couple of months ago. It was pretty funny when he said it looked like the water was pregnant. I will give it to him. It does kind of look like there's something invisible there. But overall, I think it's just fog i'm really not sure it is pretty crazy looking if any of you guys have any idea what that is or if that's just some kind of natural phenomenon that's happening let me know in the comments i've never seen anything like that personally yo they try to open up a portal in the middle of the sky yo that shit was looking like a hurricane but y'all can tell it wasn't a hurricane yo look at this shit Y'all know that that drone is unnatural. Look how it's twisting. Hey, bro. Don't it look like it's a portal about to just start right there? Like... Look, you can tell it's not a tornado because it was pointing sideways. I know y'all can clearly see that shit, man. This isn't the first time something weird was going on with the clouds either. I mean, I definitely see it spinning in the sky and where it kind of looks like a portal. I personally think that that's just a tornado forming. And that's pretty scary all on its own. You are fully immersed inside a matrix of light and you yourself are light. I'm not even holding this pen. That's what's crazy about it. You can't touch anything in the third dimension. All you have is repulsion. The electrons orbiting the atoms in my fingers are repelling the electrons that are orbiting the atoms inside this pen. Touching is even an illusion. If I can phase shift the atomic frequency of the atoms vibrating in my fingers to match the exact frequency of the atoms vibrating in this pen, I would be able to pass my hand straight through the pen. Atoms are nothing more than 99.999% empty space. Light waves slow down to a particular frequency. It gives us the illusion of solidity. I'm personally not a real big fan of the whole being in the matrix as far as we're actually in some kind of advanced system. If you want to call Earth the matrix and how it works, you know, if you have to go to work and abide by laws and things like that, if you want to call that the matrix, that's a little bit more understandable for me. But overall, I do not necessarily believe that we live in a highly advanced matrix. I do believe that we are full of atoms. I do think that everything is made out of atoms. I'm not saying I do not believe in that. I just do not necessarily believe that there's atoms because we are inside of a matrix. I don't know. I could ramble on about this one for a while. Let me know in the comments your beliefs about the matrix theory, about how atoms work, things like that, because it's all a really interesting topic. I just don't necessarily believe that we live I see the apparition. It's really low quality and really blurry, so I can't quite tell if that's a ghost figure or just a really blurry person in the video feed. Let me know what you see on this one. The following footage is from a woman named Rosanna in France. She had recently purchased an apartment home for herself and her children and had just moved in. But literally within days, the terror began. Something 
or someone started haunting them. She's dealing with a long-term case of severe poltergeist activity that has been progressing and progressing and getting worse. She's had a priest come in, she's tried different things, and to no avail. This was one of the worst nights that she experienced in her home, and as she recently purchased it, she has no idea what to do. It's gotten so bad that her children are now staying with their father until she fi can figure out what she can do. Take a look at this footage and tell me what you think. I'm not a disbeliever in ghosts because I've had my own paranormal activity happen in the past. I'm extremely skeptical. Literally, a ghost could probably just appear in front of me and I would be like, you're probably a hologram my wife set up somewhere. Like, I'm really that skeptical. It takes a lot for me to believe in something. I need extremely hard evidence. But being in a situation like this, this would definitely creep me out and it would make me question things a little bit. But then again, something would run in the back of my mind and be like, well, what if my husband or possibly ex-husband is causing all this to happen just so that the kids want to stay with him and not me? You know, that's kind of how my mind would work in that situation. But overall, that would still be really creepy to experience because that did seem fairly genuine. I bet you've wondered why space is actually dark. There is, of course, a great big ball in the sky called the sun which illuminates everything around it we get daylight when we're on earth other planets but the sun is just surrounded by darkness so when you're on a planet like earth the sun's light fills the entire sky making it bright daytime right but as we travel into space there are no particles to scatter sunlight like there is in our atmosphere with no air or dust to bounce off the sunlight simply streams straight through so the main reason that we do get sunlight on earth opposed to why there's no light in space is because our atmosphere is filled with water droplets gases dust which almost act as a mirror reflecting the light now for instance if you're on the moon the reason you're not going to see any daylight essentially is because the moon doesn't have an atmosphere so there's nothing for it to bounce off and bring the sunlight rays in now space is also so vast that the sunlight doesn't reach every single corner of it obviously so next time you look up into the night sky and wonder why is it dark out there? Well, now you know. To some people, these can be fighting words because a lot of people believe that space is fake and that there is no space and that everything is local. And I have to admit, doing these conspiracy videos, I never would have guessed or thought about something like that even being a possibility. But watching some of these videos, it actually starts to click a little bit as to flat earth or an earth with a firmament over the top of it. I love science. I really do like outer space. I hope that it's real. It just, it's a little hard for me to believe that it's real when I've never been or have experienced it myself. And that goes to say for the same on the earth. I do not know if the earth is flat. I do not know if the earth is round. I've seen images of it round. I've seen images of it flat. I will not know until I personally get to see it myself. But deep down inside, I do hope space is real because I like outer space and I would hope to one day be able to travel to outer space. I think that it would be an awesome experience to go stay on the moon or something. Only a select few join this club at 27. Just a coincidence or a way of achieving immortality? The 27 club refers to celebrities, mostly musicians, who died at the age of 27. Some of its notable members are Brian Jones, Jimi Hendrix, Amy Winehouse, 
and Jim Morrison. Most of these celebrities passed away due to their high-risk lifestyles. But what if there's more to it? Quote, now he's gone and joined that stupid club. I told him not to join that stupid club, unquote, said Cobain's mother after his death in 1994. Was she referring to his family's dark history or something else? Did Cobain intentionally time his passing to achieve fame and immortality? Some believe these artists needed to repay their debt to the devil, paying with their souls and their lives. Others believe it was their dealings with the Illuminati that granted them fame for a short period of time until they must be sacrificed. Some believe this due to their music or art's hidden symbols and messages. Is the 27 Club a curse or just a mere coincidence? If there's such a club or there was such a deal to be made where, oh yeah, you get to be famous, but you know, you get sacrificed at the age of 27. Is it really worth that? Like, I don't understand where the value of that comes from. I guess maybe if you're just coming from absolutely nothing, you want to make something of yourself and and you just want to succeed, I guess, but it doesn't sound like it's a win in the long run, and for some of these people, it's not even that long of a run. I guess I just really don't understand the end goal of selling a soul or becoming a part of such a club with such drastic measures. Do you think any of these artists were a part of the 27 Club? Do you think that they sold their souls to the devil to become famous? Let me know in the comments. Do you know about the biting your finger? Superstition. No. Shout out to my boy Tio. He's the one that told me. We are passing through like a road that barely has any lights, right? Yeah. He's like, yo, that tree over there is very haunted because somebody died right there. He was on his bike and he got hit by a truck. Mm -hmm. So I go, oh, over there? Oh, and he pointed. And I pointed. Yeah, and you're he's not like, supposed to point. <laughs> he took my hand. He's like, bite it, bite no, it. That's why all Filipinos, they point with their lips. Yeah. Oh, no. That's why everyone goes, no, that that's can't literally be. why, fam. Because you're not supposed to point with your fingers. That's why Word. all Filipinos they point with their lips, bro. Oh, that actually makes sense. <laughs> like, what are you? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because of duendes, because of spirits and everything, they don't point with their fingers. They yeah. go, if you point it, the ghost is like, oh, you can see me? Yeah. No, but he, yo, fam, he grabbed my hand. He said, go bite it. I'm like, why? Mm. He's like, no, 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 because he might think that you're pointing at him. Like, so I don't you mean bite that. your finger. That's yeah, what you're supposed he, to do. I've never heard of the no pointing at a potential ghost or you need to bite your finger if you do so. And I've definitely never heard about Filipinos needing to purse their lips to point at something. Is that true? That's hilarious to me. Someone filmed a whole lot of little UFOs flying in the night sky. Hey, There's so no, many of them. Don't see this. What the Those are not drones. This people. is in Arizona, y'all. Well, I don't know what's going on. Sorry for Bro, my what? I don't know what's going on. Drones don't Look at all this stuff. You see this shit in the sky? They're circling. They're, they're circling literally. Something. They are circling literally. People they are lose their minds literally. over them. What is this? It is pretty Somebody crazy please to see tell me. That. I don't know what this Things is. Things are watching Somebody to stay weird. Can we talk about the crazy weather that's occurring across the United States? The following footage was captured by a woman in Virginia on June 17, 2024. She literally walks out and it's snowing in the middle of summer. And this isn't the first case of snow in the summer. There are cases coming out of Idaho and people stating that it's snowing. So what's going on? Is it climate change, global warming, natural phenomenon? Take a look at this footage and tell me what you think. It is June 17th. It is June 17th. It's snowing. Mother Nature, I'm sorry for whatever I did. Hey, is there anybody from Virginia, West Virginia that's experienced the snow? Let me know in the comments. Is that actually a normal occurrence or is this very abnormal? Okay, these look like birds, a flock of birds in the sky, right? Nothing big to see here. Well, let me show you that these are not birds. I'm slowing this down to 25% and then I'm going to freeze frame and show you what you're really looking at. For context, I'm using an iPhone 14 Pro Max. So let's start with the one directly dead center. You'll see the two lights that light up right in the center of it. And I'm going to um, zoom in and freeze frame here in a second. See it right there? Yeah, that's not a bird. 
and watch I'll go back to the regular video of it passing through the sky and there are many of these in this video see that's it flying with the other so-called birds which none of them are by the way not a single one of these things are birds they're actually entities that can morph into many different things now these two guys right here you'll see that I freeze frame right here you can see those are not birds there's a lot more going on in this video, but I'll make another video getting into all of that later. I'm just gonna say it. I'm pretty certain that those were just birds, but it did leave me to speculate and come up with some theories. Who's to say that UFOs or a UFO that's really large does not cloak themselves and has like images on their ships of birds flying in a circle like a flock of vultures and things like that that's kind of interesting but overall i'm pretty certain those were just birds <sighs> I would be lying if I said that this is something I've never thought about doing because when I've stayed at hotels way up high you do see the pool and be like man that would be a killer splash but I'd never have the courage to do anything like that that kind of just makes my stomach rise into my chest just watching him fall all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here as always if you enjoyed any of these clips links are in the description down below and with that being said have a good day